Hello, Chris here, November Echo 7 Echo Echo, and I thought I would make a short little video about the auto logging feature of the CW machine. There are a couple of older videos on YouTube, and there are also um, different versions of the owner's manual out there on the internet. So I just wanted to make a little video uh, to uh, show how the auto logging works with the latest version of the CW machine, which is currently version 4.2.17. So the first thing you want to make sure that uh, when you're in the configuration menu, you have automatic logging turned on. Okay, once this is all set, let's go to the terminal. So the key concept of the auto logging is that uh, the software is uh, looking at the code, what you're sending, and when it detects keywords and patterns which are relevant for the log, it will insert that information based on the keywords into the log. And there are four keywords you will need to remember. And this is very easy and will come very natural when you're operating. So don't worry about that. So the first keyword is uh, DE, which is the standard when you uh, reply to a CQ, let's say my uh, former CW Ops advisor, Bill K0MP, uh, calls CQ, and I will answer the CQ by sending his call sign, DE, and my call sign. Okay, so now you can see that the log detected uh, his call sign, put the date, UTC, the band, which we had selected previously here, and uh, auto-populates the standard receive and sent RSTs. So in the standard QSO format, what happens next, you're stand, sending the RST, your name, your QTH, etc. And um, when you send the RST, it's already um, pre-filled as the standard as 599. However, um, a word is considered a RST signal report if it has exactly three characters where the first character is a digit from one through five and the other two characters are either the letter N for November or a digit from one through nine for example five seven November. So Based on that, the CW machine will recognize your sent RST and will put it in the log. And for demonstration purposes, since uh, it is already 599 uh, auto populated, that's uh, because the CW machine also has a contest mode. But if uh, your sent report is different, it will update that. So here it goes. And you can see the sent RST has been updated to 449 automatically, and you didn't have to do anything. 
So now I'm going to finish up my transmission by sending my name, QTH, and uh, we'll turn over the QSO back to him. Okay, so now my transmission is complete. So now I just need to uh, hit copy or, you know, hopefully hit copy what uh, he is sending back. So I'll be getting ready um, to reply back to him. And in the next reply, I will capture uh, the pertinent information to complete the log entry. Uh, by recording his name and his QTH. Okay, so I'm getting ready uh, to copy the transmission from K0MP. Uh, the nice thing about the CW machine is that in the terminal window, you can use it as a mill and type in the transmission you're receiving. That's by far more uh, efficient than pencil and paper, especially when the code speed is uh, up there. So typing on a keyboard is far more efficient, especially if you have to copy behind on fast transmissions. So let's uh, pretend uh, KCRMP is uh, getting back to me. November Echo 7 Echo Echo DE K0MP your RST also 449 name is Bill is QTH is Tucson So back to you. NE seven EE DE K zero MP. And he turned the QSO back over to me. So in his last transmission, I have all the information, the RST I have received, his name and his QTH. So I'm getting ready to uh, uh, send uh, a transmission back to K0MP. And in that transmission, I'll incorporate all these items into the log to complete the log record. And you don't really have to type anything in. So how do we get all this information into the log, the name, QTH, and the received RST. So basically you have to know three things. Uh, the first keyword to know is the abbreviation DR for dear. If the DR is sent before the name, that will put the name into the log. The other keyword to remember is FR, that is the abbreviation for. So if you put the abbreviation or keyword FR in front of the RST, that will be considered the RST received. And finally, if you put the word from FROM in front of the QTH, in this example, from Tucson, that will put Tucson in the log as 
the QTH for K0MP. Uh, simple as that. So let's give it a try. Okay, so now we have the name QTH and the RST received in the log. And uh, for the sake of time and uh, this example, um, we assume we have exchanged all our information and pleasantries. And uh, now is the time for me to make uh, the last transmission. and, and at the end of the transmission, I will send 73, and to complete the transmission, I will send the uh, prosine SK, which uh, will end the transmission and also put the entire record in the log. All right, so now the complete uh, QSO is in the log. Um, and optionally, what you can do is we have all this information in the terminal screen. If I click Save here, it will save it to a text file so you can keep all your QSOs uh, logged in a separate text file. And if you wanted to see um, your log and your previous entries, if you click on the QSO button here on the top right, it will show you the uh, recent QSOs in a different uh, um, uh, window. And you also have the option, if you made any mistakes, to correct that later on. But that's beyond the scope of this video. So I just wanted to show you that. So now we have a perfect log record of K0MP with the start and the end date, end time of the QSO uh, name, QTH, and the complete RSTs. So. Um, if I click save here, it will save the, the conversation into a text file. And uh, the text file is unfortunately uh, hidden behind uh, my, my um, software, which does the screen recording. So I will put a screenshot uh, into the video at the end so you can see how that looks. But basically, it's just a long uh, text file you can open in Notepad, and you can, uh, you know, you can store all your QSOs. And if you feel like you can copy and paste that into your other logging programs, whatever. But um, 
This was just uh, to uh, show you in a short little video, well, maybe not too short, but uh, shorter than what's out there before uh, on YouTube, um, explaining how the automatic logging feature works in the CW machine. So hope you liked that video and uh, perhaps I'll do a couple more videos about the CW machine. It's a excellent logging program. Uh, with a lot of features and um, the separate training software. I haven't touched on that yet, so there may be some other videos coming up um, uh, to show you those features. So, um, yeah, hope you liked the video and um, leave me some comments if you care. 73 from November Echo 7 Echo Echo. Thanks. Oh, and one more thing, if you, uh, I forgot to mention, to get to the uh, um, text file for the stored uh, QSO text, if you just click on review, that will open the text document file. And uh, it basically will give you a long um, text file, which uh, will show you the uh, QSOs uh, you had before, so the entire uh, text which was trans transmitted back and forth. Um, so I haven't uh, really uh, utilized this. This was just from a couple of tests before. That's why there's not a whole lot in here yet. But uh, you can see you can save all your uh, QSOs in a text file. I uh, hope that helps.